Hey everyone, it's your old mate Shano here. Thanks very much for stopping by to check out the video. Today, I wanted to cover off a couple of things uh, to do with Emma, our beautiful greyhound. First thing involves uh, a new experience for her. And the second thing involves something from her history that we learned in the last week or so. So first of all, let's have a look at something that happened this morning which was a brand new experience for her. Well, this could be interesting. We're about to take Emma through her very first car wash. We're not quite sure how she's gonna go with this, but uh, let's see. She did great. She was a bit freaked out right at the start, but um, I think once she realized it was not much worse than a thunderstorm or a rainstorm, uh, she plonked herself back down. She can't see her back there, but she's probably asleep again. That's our dog, eh? <laughs> so as you can see, she did really well and uh, wasn't phased in the least by all the different noises and splashes and sounds coming from the car wash. Uh, afterwards, we decided to have a little jaunt down the waterfront uh, in Altona because the weather was so very, very nice. And it was while we were out walking that we remembered that there's this new little cafe that's opened up in Altona. It's called The Bark Bakery and it is a specially designed cafe shop just for dogs. So you're allowed to take your dogs inside and the place is full of doggy treats and things like that so everything that's in the shop uh, from what i understand is dog friendly so no matter what you buy the dogs can have them we bought a bunch of little chew treats for emma and one of the ones we got was a salmon skin chew treat and as you can see in the video here it was very very popular so there were some other things that we bought uh, as uh, snack treats as well. So looking forward to giving her some of those in the coming days and weeks. So the other thing I wanted to cover off today relates to Emma's past. Now, not sure if I've ever mentioned it, but one of the things we got told when we adopted Emma was that she had trained, but she had never raced. Now, I'm not sure exactly where that information came from, but it turns out that that's not in fact true at all. I did a little bit of googling during the week and uh, discovered that she has in fact raced in the past. So we know or knew that her racing name was Lady Baba and uh, she's also her kennel name was Indy. So that's what I looked up Lady Baba Indy Greyhound and lo and behold there's a big list of information about her. So as you can see here, she most definitely has had a racing career. As you can see here, she had 67 starts, so 67 races. She won seven of those races. She got second place 19 times and came third nine times for the grand total of $17,643 in prize money. Uh, as you can see in the little list here too, her last race was on the 18th of March 2022. Now we adopted her in November 2022, so obviously at some point between uh, March and November she retired or was retired from the game. Now we this gave us some mixed feelings because we're not... Uh, not big fans of greyhound racing uh, you see and hear some terrible stories um but it does yeah it's kind of weird <laughs> i really do have some genuinely mixed feelings because it's uh this learning this has uh 
gone a long way to explain a few things that we've seen Emma do. She's she's got some fears and anxieties that obviously I guess I guess stem from something that happened to her when she was younger. So don't know the full training history, obviously, but uh, it's pretty clear that in recent years she indeed did race. Now through this i did a little bit more digging did a little bit of sleuthing on the internet and i was able to find out a little bit more i found out that the there was a gentleman uh, that trained her here in melbourne and i reached out to him on facebook messenger and we had a really good chat and he told me some really interesting information about uh, our little girl emma he says, uh, Indy started her life in a Pearsdale near Cranbourne and was bred by Karen Leak. Indy was sent to WA, that's Western Australia, to start her racing career, but went stale on them over there and was sent to an educational centre to switch her back on. He did a good job with her and because the education guy lives and owns the property I train dogs out of offered me a chance to train her. I had a look at her, asked him how she was going and said yes I'll give her a go. You should be able to find a video or two of her winning for me on my dog page. She was an easygoing bitch, not much phased her and a delight to train. So there you go, <laughs> from the horse's mouth so to speak, the trainer himself explained that uh, she had quite a career. It was interesting to learn that she's been shipped all around the country. WA is a very long way away from here. So at some point she's been shipped across there and then shipped back here to Melbourne. So based on that information that was given to me there, I did a little bit more digging on the interwebs and I found out this here, which is some more information about it. You can see here that her sire or her father is named Barcia Bale and her dam or mum is Lady Dee Dee. Now I'm guessing from this, this is where the name Lady Baba comes from because obviously there's the lady and Lady Dee Dee and then Barcia Bale, Baba, Lady Baba. So I'm guessing that's where the name comes from. Now this is a picture of Barcia Bale who is Emma's father, quite a strapping lad as you can see and uh, quite a stud uh, in the most literal sense in that he was the father of many well-known greyhounds. So again, really interesting information that gives me a lot of uh, really mixed feelings <laughs> to be honest, I can't quite put my finger on it, but um, yeah, it's interesting. So yeah, I found uh, this picture obviously of Barsha Bale, who was Emma's father. I couldn't find any pictures of her mother, Lady Dee Dee, but I did notice over here there's another link that says Litter. So when I click on that, that brings up this other page here. And these are Emma's brothers and sisters. So we've got Addie's Evie, who is a blue brindle, Janeway, a black bitch, Lady Baba, which is of course Emma, Leaky Lee, who is a black dog, Prince Jed, who was a black dog, and Valenti, who was a blue bitch. So there's all this information that we've learned. I looked through uh, these links and did a bit of googling on them, but couldn't find pictures of uh, those siblings either. But, uh, you know, it's really interesting finding out all this information. Like I said, we had been told that she trained but never raced. I don't know where that miscommunication happened, whether it was the information that was given to the lodge where we got Emma from or, or something along the lines being, being messed up in the, uh, the history reports. But there you have it, our little doggy who now occupies a very beloved place on our couch has done a lot of racing and wasn't too bad at it. But yeah, I still <laughs> I find it hard to get excited about that because I also know that it's a very hard and rough life for the dogs. Obviously, greyhounds love running and I'm sure the owners and trainers care for their dogs, but you can't help but be moved by some of the stories and videos that you see of uh, things that happen to these dogs. Speaking of videos, you might remember that in the message we got from the trainer, he said that there might be a couple of videos floating around 
of Emma Racing and I actually managed to track those down. So here's the first one. So you can see that she won that race and here is the second one. So there you have it. This is uh, some crazy information <laughs> that's come out of the woodwork in the last week or so. We've always wanted to know what Emma looked like as a puppy. This was sort of the thing that motivated me to start looking down this track. And uh, even though we never found any pictures of her as a puppy, it was interesting to see those pictures of her, those uh, video of her racing because, you know, it's a whole different life compared to the life that she leads now. And uh, I think it's fair to say that she's well and truly earned her place on our couch. So that's all for this time. Thanks for stopping by and checking out the video. I thought that was some pretty interesting information that I managed to track down about our doggy. So I will see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.